last year. That's right. I'm like Macaulay Culkin stuck in New York City. So if you're wondering what New York City looks like, uh, this is what it looks like. Hi Nelly! Woo! Hello guys! Hello! Oh, nice <laughs> So we got, hello there, we got Batman. Captain America. I just want to say a quick hello to everybody. I'm here uh, in New York City. Uh, bald men need to wear hats to stay warm. It's very cold. Um, so I'm in New York City. I, I uh, should be home right now in Israel. I'm trying to get home. I, I took my COVID test. It was negative, thank God, of course. Uh, and I got to the airport last night and they're like, this isn't the right COVID test. So I had to take a different COVID test, but there wasn't enough time for it to come back from the airport. So I had to stay overnight here. Jeannie, my wife helped me help, looked online, helped me find a hotel close by. So I took my COVID test and now I'm going to spend a little bit of time in New York City um, because I'm here and share with you guys. Here we go. Some folks here in the big city. So, anyways, I love you guys. I want to apologize. I didn't do many lives. Um, the last one I did was with my mother, my sister, and that was really sweet singing How Great Thou Art together. Hi, Karina. Hi, Deborah. Hey, Joel. Hope you guys can hear me. It's windy, uh, but I can't tell you how happy I am to get back home to uh, Israel and to my wife. Jeannie just called me, and I got to see little Benny as he was going to bed. He was up late. And he said, I want to see Abba, I want to see Abba. So he got to see me and it was just great knowing that these guys, my wife Jeannie and my five kids are waiting for me. So um, it's been a great trip, praise God. Um, Florida, four concerts in Florida, had an event in Pennsylvania. Uh, my niece's wedding, my niece Sarah. It was an incredible time with my family. Um, just bummed to not be together, um, uh, to be together here in America but my family's waiting for me back at home uh, my wife and kids and I am ecstatic to get home as a matter of fact it's been quite gloomy the last four days here in the northeast US so it's pretty much only sunny at this time of year in Israel so I look forward to getting back on my surfboard my, my uh, paddle board on the lake uh, with the kids and uh, yeah I can't wait uh, can't wait to get back home so um, I am in Times Square I'll walk with you guys just a little bit. I'll go. To, maybe we'll stop by the steps, the famous steps at Times Square. Actually, the mask is nice. The mask actually helps keep my nose warm. It's so cold. Hello, you guys are out there. Awesome. Somebody's asking. I'm gonna do an album of Portuguese. That's the plan. It's my dream. Maybe in a year or two. So these are all the Broadway uh, musicals. Broadway will be back, it says up there. Broadway will be back. Uh, so, okay. So just to give you a big update. Man, just the idea of worshiping together with believers here in America was just really special. I know it can serve a, a real kingdom purpose for me. It was great to be in America. Um, it served a kingdom purpose to get together. Uh, several of the places I was at hadn't had an event since before COVID. So it was the first event before uh, since COVID. Oh, here's Disney. So it was it was so special for people to come up and thank me for coming and, and uh, there was a lot of really I'm not really I don't, I don't really like to candidly share people's uh, 
you know, uh, spiritual highlights, but basically it was really a highlight for a lot of people too. I don't think that was because I was there, it was because there was a reason to come together to worship and it was incredible, it was so incredible um, uh, what God did. You know, people dancing and celebrating uh, <laughs> in the midst of uh, what some would call still a crisis, uh, praising God regardless. So it was, it was just so special, it's good to be back on the road. I'll be off the road for a while now, I'm gonna be home, thank God, but it was, it was worth it. It was worth it. Uh, maybe worth it getting stuck in New York City one night. I don't know. Uh, I was hoping to be home by now. Uh, but uh, the trip was great. If you guys are doing good, give me a thumbs up down below. Um, I've been sort of compartmentalizing each day. It was a busy day. Either traveling or working on a new project. Um, but I can't wait to get back home to Israel and start focusing on finishing up our virtual tour, which is going to be exciting. Seen all your thumbs up. Glad you guys are doing great. Um, so stay tuned for our virtual Israel tour, um, which will be hopefully by the end of April. You guys can sign up for that. It does cost. Sorry, um, we hired real guides. We're paying them. Uh, uh, according to them, I think we're paying them well. Uh, different guide for each day. So you're going to get a virtual tour of Israel. So um, if you haven't subscribed to the email, just go to Joshua Aaron. Dot TV, Joshua Aaron dot TV. If you're interested in that virtual tour, uh, I don't think we have the pricing yet, but I think it's going to be close to $200. Just to give you a heads up, uh, we're going to pay our guides and make sure everything is uh, done well. Um, so uh, just go to Joshua Aaron dot TV. We'll, we'll, we'll give you a lot more information here. Hopefully by this, probably next week, we'll have all the information on the website, that page ready for you guys to sign up if you're interested. So. Um, yeah, hello Rebecca, hello Beth, hello Suzanne, hi, good to see you here Suzanne. So here's the, the famous steps, the famous steps on uh, at Times Square, and not far from here is Times Square Church. Uh, I'll tell you what, it's been hard to eat kosher for Passover, I think I have eaten kosher for Passover. So no, no bread, no fluffy stuff, um, and um, I've even had some burgers with, I had to eat with a fork and knife because it's, it's hard to, to keep kosher uh, in America. It's really hard. So you have to find ways or you just don't eat well that, that afternoon or that, that meal. So it's been pretty cool. Um, uh, it's exciting to know I can go home where everything's kosher for Passover. Maybe a little too kosher for Passover. The rabbis added all the extra stuff. but. Um, I'm looking forward to getting back home. Um, but I love you guys. Please forgive me for not doing any vid many videos during this trip. Um, honestly, I didn't want to do videos. Some of these events were just so incredible. And, and uh, I think one of them had 450 people show up. And, uh, it, you know, I just didn't feel right posting the videos of it. Just because it's a sensitive time. So forgive me for not posting videos of that. We even ask people not to uh, stream it. Because it's a sensitive time, some people get really scared during during this uh, COVID season. And um, but those people weren't scared; they were just celebrating and um, worshiping God. And it was really, really special. Praise God! So, hi, hi, Lila Whalen. Hello to you, Blairsville, Pennsylvania. Um, I love you all. Anything else? Um, I, I'd sing a song, but I don't have a guitar, and I can't move my fingers. Uh, it's cold. It is cold. Maybe 40? Maybe 40 degrees right now in New York City? Um, it's cold for April. <laughs> uh, well, it's so great. So great to see you guys on here. It feels good to get back on YouTube Live and say hello to everybody. Um, eat strawberries that are not kosher. Strawberries are kosher, right? I, I actually don't never heard that they weren't kosher. So uh, you'll have to look that one up, but I'm sure they're kosher. Um, Hello, Jeannie LeBoy. Thanks, uh, Sebastiana. Hello, Maryland. Cold in Georgia, too. Wow. So I'm walking here past NYPD. Keeping New York City safe. But for me personally, it's been a, a great journey between me and God, you know, reflecting on 12 years of doing this full time off the road for four months and really really just just being 
you know, sometimes I compare myself to, to, to others and I shouldn't, you know. You know, as your music grows, you're like, well, maybe I could be as, you know, reach as many people as so-and-so, you know. And I just look back and think, man, I, I'm just so grateful that God, there's more men in blue. Um, just so grateful that God allowed me to uh, to reach people. And, and it's not for me. It's, it's never been for me. Um, I still struggle with having my name on things. It's about Him. It's about God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and His salvation. It's God to the nations through the Messiah. And uh, I'm just so grateful I get to do that. I get to do that. And I'm just reflecting on that this trip after being off the road for four months. And looking forward to 2022 in the fall where I take a break, another Sabbath year, kind of slow down a little bit. Uh, but I'm really uh, just grateful to God that you guys have been here this whole time following me, be, being like, kind of like my uh, my record label. You guys have been my record label. We have, we've got two more albums coming out, so uh, we'll keep you posted. Just make sure you subscribe to the newsletter, joshuaheron.tv, and I'll let you know when the next the next albums are coming out when we're working on them. Um, and we'll, we'll let you know there might be ways for you to uh, pre-order uh, and all that. So, hi, Angel. How are you? So that's my story, guys. I'm here in NYC. Doing it up. Here comes Cookie Monster and too many mouses. <laughs> it doesn't feel. It's 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 uh. Sir, you have to do some marijuana. Sir. <laughs> the guy just told me I look like I need I need some marijuana. Oh my god. Uh, no, thank you. It smells like it. it smells like it. Um, so, <laughs> I love you guys. Well, God bless you from NYC. Um, don't forget joshuaaron.tv if you want to keep it informed. I'll be sending an email out here tomorrow. I'll probably finish writing it at the airport uh, to give you an update on the whole week. But sorry I didn't send any videos. You know, I'll probably post some cool pictures in the email of my events just for you guys people that are subscribed to our our email our newsletter um i just didn't want to really it's some of it's kind of private to have to be together and praising god in, in, in indoors and i didn't want to um, exploit that for some of these people so for you guys if you subscribe to my my email joshuaaron.tv you can subscribe i'll be posting pictures and uh it's just like a really a, a de uh a debrief on my trip here in the states and um just looking forward to getting back home bummed i got stuck here overnight because i took the wrong covid test apparently so if you're coming to israel make sure you take the pcr covid test it's the only one israel will accept um i already took it I already came back negative so um so somebody asked me earlier if you need um the vaccine to go to israel so far you don't but you have to quarantine um so all you need is a negative covid test um but right now they're only taking citizens so we'll we'll keep you guys all uh, we'll, we'll keep you guys all posted on uh, uh, on that status. Hopefully you can come soon. But don't forget, you can come virtually. Uh, you can come to Israel virtually. <laughs> so that's it. New York City. Uh, I just wish you guys all the best. Thanks for, for staying uh, in touch. I'm looking so much forward to getting home back to the lake. The place where my rabbi always wanted to get to, to meet with the boys on the lake. Uh, I'm going to go hang out with my boys on the lake. Uh, so God bless you from New York City. God is good in the mountains and the valleys. He's still there. He's with us. We're always safely in his arms. Whether here on earth or in eternity, we can put our life and uh, trust in him fully. So God bless you guys from, uh, from New York City. There's a Harry Potter thing there. <laughs> All right. God bless you.